Hey everyone, Super Tal 3 here. I'm back at home now after I've had some time to review over what I learned in the exam and kind of decipher through what I can really tell you and what I can't because per the non-disclosure agreement, I'm not allowed to tell you everything that I would like to tell you about the exam, but I can tell you just a few things to kind of lead you on the right path in your studying for the SSCP exam. So um, again, what I said earlier, the most common words well, some of the most common words at least are what's the greatest way to do something, what's the best way to do something, and what's the most effective or whatever. Those are just the words. So basically greatest, best, and most. Um, and then you have other words around and, you know, before and after them, of course. Um, but anyway, those are the three most common words. So this test is going to have multiple right answers, but they're not really going to be right. They're just going to be kind of like fake right answers, like this would be right except for um, in this domain what is the best or whatever so you just got to discern what the best one is um, for every question as far as the exam contents this is a whole lot like the um, CompTIA CYSA plus beta version 2 exam um, I'll have a link for that in the description so you can go watch that video I did a review on that um, about a month ago I would say it was a very great exam. I had a lot of fun um, taking it. But anyway, it's a lot similar to that, except instead of being um, from the view of a SOC analyst, it's more of the view of a security practitioner. So you're going to be a little more advanced. You're going to be less dealing with, oh no, something bad happened. Let's go, let's go fix it before it like destroys our whole organization. You're going to be dealing with a lot less of that and more of what is the best way to architect our organization to prevent those kind of bad things from happening to our organization. So yeah, it's not, it wasn't too difficult of an exam. It's, um, I basically rate the exams as there will be the CompTIA Security Plus and Level 1. Level 2 would be the CYSA Plus with a focus on SOC analyst duties and roles. And then Level 3 would be the SSCP um, Systems Security Certified Practitioner exam. So it's just, it's kind of above the CYSA plus beta in a few ways, but um, overall it's just a more advanced, I would say more advanced version of security plus CYSA plus, etc. It's just a more advanced security exam. It's not going to be too difficult, um, but definitely put in the work, definitely study for it. Um, to read further in on the actual domains of the exam, you can go to icsquared.com's website. I'll have that linked as well the page that you'll need to see um, what the domains of the exam are and what you're going to kind of need to study. Um, for my studying, I personally used the resources included with WGU. That's who basically paid for my exam because I'm paying them to go to college. So they pay for my exam as the final for one of my classes. Um, I think I studied for that for about two weeks and then I went and took the class. I used primarily practice exams just to give me an idea of the content because felt like I already knew a lot of the stuff. I just needed to kind of know what was on the exam. And then the things that I didn't know obviously went and I Googled and all that. And they were not a test dump questions. They were just normal, like just practice questions that were not on the exam, but they were just kind of in the general area of the exam. And that um, WGU does their stuff through U Certify. I'm pretty sure that you can buy those externally um, if you wanted to and not going through WGU. But if you are in WGU's um, curriculum for the Bachelor's in Cybersecurity and Information Assurance, you'll have those resources available to you as well as others, such as um, LinkedIn Learning, if there's a course on there. I don't know personally, but there might be, um, as well as any other courses that are made available um, on other platforms. So anyway, that's pretty much all I can tell you because of the non-disclosure agreement. I know it wasn't much. I know uh, it was barely anything at all. But still, um, I hope this video helps you in your studies for the SSCP, and I wish you luck. Thank you for watching. This is Super Tal 3 signing out.